Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a love scope for the first two weeks of August. First of all, happy birthday to all my Leos. I hope you have a great month. So I don't really have an outline, so I'm just going to pull cards and see what comes out. Starting with the romance index. engagement we have past life relationship and we have finances and career so let's have a look at this so there is most definitely perhaps a um, a soul connection um, going on here because we have past life relationship you've known each other before this, if you're watching this for your divine counterpart, then this is, you know, just the nudge from spirits confirming this from, for you. Um, if you, you're watching for someone else that you don't really see as a, a soul connection, but it's somebody that you're, you're um, inquiring about, this could be an ex. Um, we also have here engagement. So this is about moving to the next step of a committed relationship. It could be a proposal but it could also just be that you know there's some kind of commitment made to you in the physical and we have fans finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so let's explore each thing a little bit further and see what we get starting with engagement why is engagement here? We have engagement here because there's an offer coming in there's an offer that uh, might possibly come in remember this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest but there's an offer coming in here that's why the engagement card showed up today here for you guys Leo we also have ancestry we have hidden and we have head heart of a head so this is about that um, this is an offer that you can't see. This is something that you won't see coming. You perhaps have given up on this relationship, given up on this person because, you know, they were not showing up to the relationship the way you wanted them to. But this is because things have been hidden, hidden from you. Perhaps they weren't in their heart space before, but they are now. That's because they have had a... Um, I want to say um, revelation when it comes to their ancestors. Uh, their ancestral line has nudged them and showed them hidden things from their past and in terms of commitments and relationship that perhaps was um, a bad karmic cycle in their family line, in their bloodline. So they're now, once they kind of like consulted with the the ancestors or found out more about their bloodline they were like you know what it is time to break that cycle it is time now for me to be someone that operates from their heart not from their head and therefore things are going to start being revealed to you so an offer can come in when it comes to this engagement card that is very nice leo so now let's look at past past life relationship. Why is this here? You have oh, oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna take the cards that are face up, which is still a uh, very few cards. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me past life relationship soul connection which i said in the beginning this is a soul connection um again uh if take what resonates leave the rest so this is showing up today because leo this is this is a soul connection this person you've known them before your soul has known their soul for lifetimes 
We also have balance here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is about um, perhaps finding balance. Actually, let me just look at all the cards before I start yapping. Uh, we have unity. We have a long time. We have remorse. We have contemplating. And we have new beginnings. Okay. So this is about finding the that balance the balance between your heart and your head I say that because we have this remorse card here and when you're in remorse and you're in regret you're living in your headspace you need to unify and be united with your heart and your head um, not just you but this other person here as well because when you um, spend some time alone, you can sort through your, your emotions, your thoughts. You can find that balance so that you can have new beginnings and not be remorseful or regret things that happened in the past. You can, you can instead have a new beginning with, a soul, with your soul connection, your divine counterpart. As for your divine counterpart, I feel like they are the, the ones that are thinking about how to come forward to you with a new beginning. They are trying to find the balance so that they can right the wrongs that have happened with this remorse card here. So you guys can be together again as a unit. But that's going to uh, require them to have some alone time as well. So let's have a look at finances and career. What is finances and career here? They have divine help. What I'm getting for finance and career is that perhaps your divine counterpart uh, wants to get the shit together first before they come towards you. Perhaps they had some kind of setback when it comes to their job and their finances um, and they are, don't want to come towards you while they are still trying to fix that stuff. So we have divine help, we have escape and we have sadness. So. Yeah, I feel like there's been some kind of um, loss uh, when it comes to their finances um, and they want to escape that. But what's happening here is that the divine stepping in to help them, help them escape the things that keep them trapped and in this uh, financial um, karmic cycle. Uh, the, what the divine is showing up here to do for them is to help them be the authentic self, help them shed the skin and release themselves so they can come back to this soul connection and, and heal the sadness. Because um, with the financial things, I feel like perhaps they're not living their, um, their soul purpose. They're not doing what they're truly passionate about and what they love. And that's affecting them where there perhaps is a loss of money, which makes them more sad, which makes them more like I'm not someone to show up for this connection so perhaps they just stay away but the divine is here to help with that so that's good for you guys Leo before I close this reading I want to get you a message from your divine counterpart or the person you're watching this for so let's see what they want you to know right now It has always been you. So know that, Leo. It has always been you, regardless of how things might have seemed or what uh, you saw on social media or even the words they said to you. It has always been you, Leo. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.